Hey guys, welcome to Blonity. First, my little disclaimer, this is no financial advice, my own opinion and estimates, my estimates could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers, be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Please be aware that I'm invested in Hive blockchain, Argo blockchain, Bitfarms, hud 8 k one DMG blockchain and Digihost. Okay guys, so Bitcoin is dropping again. Um, when we go here to the hourly, we can see that, uh, yeah, at these levels here at 42,000, when we try to break above here, there was constant FUD. Here was the Je Janet Yellen thing, then two times China FUD. Now they say they want to ban Bitcoin. What they said three years ago and four years ago, um, what they always say, um, yeah, the mar market always reacts um, yeah, and drops. So there are big forces now in play. Also, there's this, this insider who says he, he's working for a big company he says they want to drive now he predicted uh, this uh, 30,000 uh, drop here perfectly and he said there are big forces at work right now um, he, he is now saying that we go to 25,000 so that would be insane um, yeah we will see maybe it's a trap um, you, you, you cannot trust these guys um, but um, yeah there are big forces now at work there's constant fat now in the media um, a lot of people got wrecked um, with the leverage trading um, they are now at zero. Um, so yeah, we should think about, okay, what would happen to our stocks, to, uh, to these companies if we enter now into a bear market? Um, I, yesterday I said, okay, I'm still thinking um, the, the data compared to the other bull runs, it, it's not looking like uh, we're in the, we are going into a bear market because this bull run uh, is completely different to the others if this would end here. But uh, we should make this mind game here. Okay, what happens if uh, this is the end of this bull run, which would be not good for, for my investments for sure. But um, yeah, let's let's make this mind game here. Okay, first of all, what would happen if China bans uh, crypto mining? So Michael Saylor says here, a crackdown on miners in China would radically re reduce the carbon footprint of Bitcoin mining, increase the profitability of all the remaining Bitcoin miners, reduce nagging China FUD support progress toward our ESG goals and drive up the value of BTC. So increase the profitability of all the remaining Bitcoin miners. So the miners are in North America, for example, they, um, for, for, for these companies, that would be huge. That's why I, I still think this would be a good thing for these companies if China bans Bitcoin mining, because we know that a big part of the hash rate is located in China. I don't think they will. I think it's just FUD again, because they said this um, a lot of times. Um, yeah, and they would destroy a big industry in their country, and I don't think they, they will do it. But you never know. Um, Right now, the hash rate is going down here. We are 140 exahash and the next difficulty adjustment will be also down big. So um, that, that means that the, the, the remaining miners uh, will mine more Bitcoin. So now what would happen if we go into this bear market? Um, some people say, OK, we are now here in the disbelief before the big run up here um, in this uh, Wall Street um, um, cheat sheet here or some people will say we're here now the big shakeout before the big uh, run up but other people are saying okay we're we had this cycle here and we're now here and we we're going now into the bear market so in the end no one knows um, there are big forces in play right now and we are just uh, little small fishes on this uh, on the sea and yeah however the wind changes um, we move in one direction so we cannot uh, change this or influence this um, the big question is now, okay, what happens with these companies? So um, what could stabilize the prices? I think first of all, if we drop now to 20,000 and stay there for a few months, so bear market territory here, um, first of all, the, my, these companies, they will lose more in price. I think that's, that's for sure. But on the other side, we will get news or fundamentals. They will help, help them to stabilize. For example, Riot and Mara, they ordered a lot of miners. Um, Mara would want to have 10 exa hash at the beginning of 2022. Um, so um, they, they will get a lot of miners. And if the, the, the global hash rate drops uh, because of a lower Bitcoin price, uh, that would mean that they mine a lot more Bitcoin than right now. So that would help these companies here. Then we have these Canadian stocks like Hive, Hut and Bitfarms. 
They are all applied for NASDAQ and BitFarms already received the approval. So that should be a big driver for BitFarms um, to move up in price. Um, also, they will get a lot of hash rate. The goal is at the end of 2022, um, 8 exa hash. Um, so with the, with the dropping hash rate, a dropping general market, that would mean that bid firms will mine more Bitcoins. Also Hive and HUD applied for NASDAQ. So we don't have the approval here, but I don't see a big fundamental difference between Hive, HUD and bid firms. So I think they will get this approval too. And this should help to um, stabilize the prices here or move them up. Um, yeah. Then we have Argo blockchain. For Argo, we are not sure whether they applied or not, um, but I think they try to get there. The price is now below $2, um, so we will see when they can get there. But I think they really try to um, to, to go to NASDAQ too, but no official um, announcement here. Then we have DMG and DigiHost. For DigiHost, we have seen a nice pump here despite all the FUD. So that was a very nice move for DMG not. DMG diluted here big, that was not a nice move. But on the other side, it looks like it, it wants to bottom out here despite the big drop to 30,000 here. Um, DMG made no big move here to the downside. So that looks right now also stable. The good thing is with DMG blockchain, they're not a pure miner. They have other um, stuff. They, they have this mining pool and software products. So this should help also in, in hard times um, to get through this. So in the bear market, what happens to, to mining companies, the strong survive, the strong benefit from this because they increased their power and the smaller ones, the new ones, they, they ordered um, hardware for very high prices and yeah, they, they take, they took credit or loan. Um, they will, they will have, they will be in big trouble and they will leave the market. So that's why it's always important to invest in, in fundamental strong companies where you see, um, they, they have a lot of cash. They have Bitcoins on the sideline. They already have the miners. They don't say, okay, we will get miners in 2022 or so. These companies are all already all mining here and they're all producing cash flow every day. Um, so yeah, let's, let's check this one here. I mean, um, yeah, if you bought DMG here, I mean, that's, that's a very hard, um, thing here. That's for sure. I mean, I bought it here. And I'm down 50% here, but I bought not here or something like this. So I think there is still, um, even if we go lower with the Bitcoin price, I don't think we will stay uh, when we go to 20,000, we will stay there forever. I mean, Bitcoin will make huge bounces. Maybe we go to 40,000 again, or maybe 50,000 and down again. So there will be huge moves. Um, we will not go to 5,000 again and we'll stay there for two years. There's too much adoption happening in Bitcoin. But um, it looks like that uh, the bull run, what we all expected, that we move up to 100,000 very fast. It's now, yeah, there is now a big stop here. And yeah, we should, yeah, we should all, all be aware of this, that uh, this is, um, yeah, this could be, could get longer to get uh, back up again. That's for sure. Okay, so the companies are fundamentally strong. Um, they have all cash on the sideline. They already have the miners. They all have the Bitcoins and the prices were already dropping very big. But uh, on the other side, when we look to bid farms here, we were at 30 cents and we are now at five Canadian dollars. So they're still in a, yeah, in, in huge, uh, a huge increase here in price. Some of them better, some, some not. Um, yeah, but I, I, th I don't see them dropping again to these levels here. That's for sure. Um, they will grow in this. If this bear market starts now, they will grow there. They will use this in their advantage to build, to buy cheaper miners again, because also the prices for the hardware should go down in the bear market. So you can buy a lot cheaper. Um, and yeah, they would prepare for a rise again in price. So um, it's way too early to say, um, what's going to happen. We have, yeah, the news here from bit farms that they, um, the close of the 50, 75 million Canadian dollar private placement with institutional investors. So the institutional investors are still investing in the companies. So they are still believing in this business. Uh, when we go to the mining profitability, 
The last bull run in 2017, we had a huge peak here. That was a time when mining was incredibly profitable. This time not here. We're we're still very low here. So um, I don't think uh, that the mining profitability um, will go down uh, much lower here. We are right now at, uh, I think, 20 cents approximately here per day per terahash. So that's when all these miners are still profitable they make still a lot of money here or they mine the same amount of bitcoin but um, the bitcoins um, yeah have less us dollar value so um, maybe we have a stable face here at 20 cents per day per terahash or so um, yeah but this would not um, yeah make these companies bankrupt or something like this okay so um, in the end there are a lot of predictions right now out there, bearish and bullish. Um, and when you go to the chart, uh, the TA guys, they will all say now, okay, it's over. We go to, into the bear market because all these uh, lines are crossed. When you yeah, have more fundamental analysis um, with plan B with the stock to flow or, or some other uh, models there, um, they say, okay, um, we should go higher um, maybe this is a, a, a now accumulation phase here so maybe we're going sideways um, yeah so no one knows um, but please prepare for yourself for what you're gonna do if we go lower um, I personally I will hold these companies because I still believe in these companies um, I will yeah use cash to buy uh, more when we go down I'm not buying right now I'm waiting right now what, what's going on here. Um, and yeah, we will see um, where where this all goes. Okay, guys. So we will see where Bitcoin goes this weekend. Uh, right now, 35,000. There's a big battle zone here, it looks like. Um, yeah. At some point, I think we will get a bounce. But maybe we go first a lot lower and we got we then get a bounce. But yeah, all the indicators are look very oversold right now. So a bounce will happen at some point. The question is, how high do we go? Um, do we go back here to 50,000 or 40,000? Or do we go here sideways now for a while for this accumulation phase for these big whales? Uh, they want this to then drive the price up again. Yeah, we will see. Okay, guys, so I think that's it for today. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.